Hello, I'm here with Councilman Chris Visconti, right after the debate. How are you? Very well, thank you. The debate went uh, fairly well, I guess you would say. What, what, what was your general reaction of how you think it went? I think the debate was run very well. I think both sides had ample opportunity to make their points. It was an open discussion. Uh, it was uh, Everybody respected each other. The audience was great. The, you did a great job with the introduction. Thank you. And uh, I enjoyed it very much. Now, I notice you know, we're getting closer to election time and you know, all the pamphlets start going out in the mail. And I was just looking through your uh, pamphlet and it says in your biography that you're the vice chair for the sewer, the water, and the DPW. And you know, recently you've heard about two of those things in town, which is the DPW building and the sewers that are trying to come downtown. Can you just provide an update of what is going on with those two projects and how you are personally involved with those? Sure. Um, the DPW building's been in the planning for quite a while. Um, last year I was the DPW chair, so I was involved a little bit more on the, on the planning and hiring an architect and a few other things. This year it's actually started construction. Uh, actually, they had a demolition uh, ceremony last week, and the actual uh, construction uh, ceremony, I think, is the 26th. I'm not exactly sure of the date. But uh, both uh, that project, basically, we uh, put a half a million dollars down on it. We figured out a way to do the project without a, a tax increase to the uh, taxpayers of Oakland. As far as uh, water and sewer, um, we have had uh, a whole bunch of meetings. We have our normal water and sewer issues, repair and maintenance of tanks and water mains and pumps and all kinds of things like that. But in addition to that, um, we were trying to schedule a meeting with the uh, Highlands. Uh, they have reviewed our latest application. If we get approval from them, uh, hopefully in November, I think we're trying to schedule a date. Uh, we can then go to the DEP for a pre-design uh, meeting and actually take it to the next step. Now, as so you also brought up in tonight's meeting, you're also the uh, finance chair yes. and you're also the council president. And also in that same uh, wonderful campaign pamphlet, you tout that there's been a 0% increase in the past two budgets. And you also say you want to bring that Oakland's debt to zero by 2022. So I wanted to ask, how do you plan to do, how do you plan to lower the debt and keep taxes low? Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, what we started to do is basically we have a, a fund that we created in, as a line item of the budget to reduce debt. Okay, and the way I can explain, explain this easily is if you have a mortgage, okay, and you have an interest in principal on the mortgage, if you pay the principal faster, you reduce the time you pay the uh, total mortgage, and you re reduce the amount of interest. So what we're doing is we're paying off chunks of debt. We're also purchasing things with cash. We're putting large down payments, like I said, with the DPW. Um, so if uh, you know we plan carefully, uh, we should be debt free in uh, ten years, twenty twenty. Is that what I said? Uh, twenty twenty two. Ten years. Um, additionally to that, um, one of the the fiscal things that we we look at continually is managing debt. In the past, and every time uh, somebody needs something, they went out, borrowed some more money. What we've been doing is trying to hold off to times when debt is falling off. So even at this time, like the DPW building. We have some notes that will be falling off next year and then two years after that. So that, by the, that debt falling off the schedule gives us the opportunity to, again, you know, kind of keep that going, that downward trend. Now, also, if uh, the last mayor and council meeting, Mayor Schwager pointed out that some ideas have been floated and you were working with uh, Mike about the Heritage Hills property, the Pleasureland property. Uh, can you elaborate how far that, that pr uh, progress has gone so far and like, when the public should expect to see things happening with that property? Yes, um, I leave it to Mike to give you all the details, but uh, real quick, uh, they, the proposal they brought forward, they're trying to share it with some of the, the um, offices in town, the DPW people, the uh, fire department, the police department, and the idea is to get input before they go truly into a design phase to see what their requirements are and suggestions they may have. They're trying to be inclusive and look ahead rather than steam ahead and then have to go back and redo things. So they're being very responsive and responsible. Um, you know, it's up to the committee. Like I said, it's really not a borough function. It's up to that particular committee. But I would expect sometime next year. I mean, they're going to come to the council with it and present it, and it'll be presented to the public, too. All right, well, thank you very much, and good luck in the election coming up. Thanks again.